Now, it goes without saying that surviving bowel cancer is a life-changing experience. Not least is the need for many people to have a stoma. Yeah, now you think it's hardly a laughing matter, but our next guest is trying to prove that it can be. Sarah Mills has turned her experience into a comedy routine that's become a huge hit on TikTok. Have a look. There once was a ship that put to sea And the name of the ship was the Billy O.T. The winds blew harder, bowed it down below My bully boys blow <laughs> Soon may the well It's become so popular, Sarah's now off to tell her story in its glorious, gory detail at the Edinburgh Festival. I'm delighted to say that she's here with us now. Hello, Sarah. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello, good to have you with us. Um, OK, let's plunge straight in there. Not the most obvious subject for comedy. No, we think it's probably the first comedy show about bowel cancer. Wow. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it just I couldn't help myself. As I was going through treatment, the jokes sort of started to write themselves because it, it is, you know, it, it can... You have to laugh through these things when they happen to you, I think. So we just found fun in it. Did it help get you through the treatment? Yeah, Would I think say? so. Like, I, made, I made, like, different content while I was... Like, for example, when I was on the chemo ward, I did something called the Chemo Chat Show where I was interviewing celebrities from the chemo ward. And I just think it's good to have a distraction... Yeah. For sure. Like, it's good to... So, and also, it's good to, like, make purpose out of going through cancer treatment as well. Now, now one of the points about what you're doing mm. is for people not to be embarrassed if yes. they're in the situation you're in yeah. with a stoma. And just yeah. explain what that is and, and what the sort of in embarrassment that people encounter. Yeah, well, I mean, I think when I talk about embarrassment, I really talk about it in terms of um, bowel cancer because people are often quite late to report symptoms of bowel cancer because it's you know revolves around bums and poo and they don't they feel embarrassed to talk to their doctors about that so a lot of what my show in edinburgh is about and a lot of like what the content i make is about is about sort of talking openly about having gone through bowel cancer and not being embarrassed mm. to report your symptoms and yeah so and part of my treatment was to get a stoma bag so i um had the tumor removed from my intestines and where they sort of couldn't get the two ends back together again, they end up, um, they reroute your intestines sometimes after a bowel cancer surgery or various types of bowel surgeries end up with a stoma, which is where you get a, a bag to collect poo in. And is, are you wearing that forever? I'm not sure. They're going to try, they've been trying to re reverse it for a while, but... We don't know. We're, it's just something come. Wow, Sarah, I, there's so much <laughs> I don't know. And honestly, if you are trying to raise awareness, yeah. you are doing that. And, and sadly, we had Deborah James, yeah. who's hardly passed away from bowel yeah. cancer. But the work that she's doing, I mean, has that inspired you? And we're already having that conversation anyway because of her yeah. legacy. Is, is that inspired you and just want to make sure you just continue that or you play your own part in that world? Oh, I think a bit of both, to be honest. Yeah, I, I do think that she led the way in talking about, in just breaking down that stigma and being like, we can't be embarrassed about this because embarrassment kills. Because if you leave bowel cancer um, to its latest stages, it's so much harder to treat, it's so much harder to survive. So she was saying, just report your symptoms as soon as, as you physically can. Don't be embarrassed. You know, your doctors are not sort of queasy or squeamish to hear you talk about your poo. Like, they're, they're fine to hear about it. And so, yeah, I think... I think if it wasn't for her, I might feel less comfortable coming out, you know, talking as a, as, a, as a young woman, talking about going through that kind of treatment and that, um, yeah, that, that illness. I think she's definitely sort of enabled me to talk. Right. Really quickly, where can we see you? I am at the Pleasance Courtyard every day during Ooh, Edinburgh Fringe, 2.05pm, doing my show Badass. Well, all the best with that. And thank, thank you very much for coming in, Sarah Mills. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Talking to us. Cheers. Thank you.